these videos I recorded it and did it like a completely different like intro I did like a whole like skit of me like waking up even though it was like fake waking me up but uh, still I'm just I'm not gonna do it this time but hello 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 everyone it is Jake Baller here and I am back with another video 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 kind of like the last time I did this style of video uh, it is the morning as you can see I have my blanket up to cover the, the light and also to not let people sort of like peek through my window my blinds aren't that great I need to get new blinds but anyways yeah so today tonight 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 or whenever you're watching this video I am doing another ASMR for 24 hours a day in my life ASMR
I should do an ASMR in public video also act, which by the way, this technically isn't an in public video, but I guess technically it is, um, is GameStop, but the reason why I'm here in GameStop is because I need to buy, I need to buy, I need to buy, I need to buy another controller, which I think Walmart sells their uh, electronics a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit cheaper than other places, so I think I'm just gonna go to maybe Walmart after this and uh, pick up some stuff there while I'm, I guess, already there doing grocery shopping. They have a GameStop, and wow, is this place dead? This place is um, looking like it's probably about to close within the next couple of months. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, obviously, with online gaming, gaming consoles, PC gaming getting so, so, so popular. Man, this this place is kind of a, an artifact, extinct, kind of like a blockbuster, it seems. But at least I have some of the new games like Hogwarts right there, which I've already played and beaten. It's a super fun game. And Jedi Survivor also beaten. Let me know if you guys want me to do any gaming on the channel. Uh, let me know what video games you guys want me to do for some ASMR content. I know you guys really want it, so uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. So, another little clothing spot I go to a lot, which is kind of more hit and miss. I think Pakistan definitely has a better variety, but it's just a little bit more expensive, is H&M. Um, I do like H&M, but again, it's a little bit hit and miss. It's, sometimes they have something that's really dope and cool, and I kind of have to have it, or it's a bunch of just bland, boring, 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 boring stuff. Like, they have, you know, graphic tees of just random cartoons, or just some tie-dye shirts. Um, they're button-ups and polo shirts are actually kind of nice, but I don't really wear them that often to buy them. Definitely way too hot to get a hoodie, but I guess that it probably would be on sale to get them right. Oh my god, look at that Spongebob. Ew. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pass on that. That pink color is pretty nice, though. Um, you should also let me know down in the comments where you go shopping at. I would definitely love to know. Maybe some opinions. What do you do for shopping? <laughs> I'm pretty bad at buying new clothes and shopping for myself, I kind of just wear like the same like 10 shirts and like two pairs of jeans. That's kind of all I really sort of cycle through. I mean, you guys see me all the time on the channel. I wear the same clothes all the time. Um, this shirt was actually kind of cool. So that's a pizza shirt. Pizza, pizza, pizza shirt. You guys know I love pizza, but it's just another black and white shirt. Like I have like a 30 of these to be honest, so... So a video that I've done before is Barnes and Noble making a return here and just checking out some of the new magazines that they have, which is actually maybe my favorite, favorite, favorite spot in Barnes and Noble are the magazines because they're kind of, you know, the up-to-date things. They change them, geez, all the time. And uh, I just kind of wanted to see some of the stuff they had. They had a really cool-looking uh, Star Wars magazine and Mandalorian magazine that you guys saw back there, back there, back there uh, for sports have a, a basketball magazine. I tried to look for the Slam, 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 Slam magazine, but this was going on during the NBA Finals, so they were probably waiting for whoever to win the NBA Finals to make another Slam magazine, so didn't get a chance to see if they had anything new there. And checking out just sort of the entertainment section, they have a, oh, they have a video game section down here where they actually had a magazine of the history of video games, which Maybe I should buy, I am actually am looking to buy more magazines to do like page flipping videos, but I just need to find the right magazine to do that with because obviously I need to buy one that you guys would like to actually flip through and plus they're so expensive, like 15, 12, 15, 17 dollars are so expensive nowadays, it's, it's kind of annoying. And then for the next spot, I actually forgot to show the little like, you know, walk in, walk in, walk in transition, but it is a box lunch, box lunch, I think that's what this place is called, it's kind of like a, uh, entertainment assortment store has like a lot of like anime, Star Wars, Disney, superhero, sort of like, you know, random sort of popular stuff in there. Uh, still, not the biggest fan of anime. Maybe if I got like a, a recommendation of a good anime, again, you can let me know down in the comments. I am a big fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles though. I think they're coming out with the movie sometime soon, which is really cool. 
fake tees, those crappy tees that feel like the old, honestly, just rip in the, in the wash if you do that. But they're kind of dope. Uh, and they have a lot of pop, 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 funko, 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 pops in here. They have Rocket Raccoon from, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy. Some really cool looking jerseys in here. And I, I actually got my Mickey Mouse basketball jersey from this place. And a really cool Avengers Campus um, cookbook, which maybe I should do and do like a little, I don't know, cooking video for you guys. And <laughs> that could be kind of fun. But the main reason why we're actually technically here was to watch Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Which um, I'm sure a lot of you have already watched. This is going to be my second time watching it, which is very fun. And I actually really love movie theaters. Had uh, a couple of viewers, a couple of you guys, saying I should do a in public uh, movie, I guess, ASMR public video, I don't know about that, maybe if you, if you guys sort of like the vibes of this, maybe I could do it a little bit better, I'm kind of just like walking around talking with my family though, so I can't really, you know, let you guys listen, but if you want one a little bit more in depth than just me showing you guys the newest movie posters, let me know, give this video some love, and I'll, uh, I'll do one in the future, and then, and then, and then, and then, also, um, there wasn't that many people in here, which is kind of funny, there was like, maybe like five, six people in total in the movie theater. Uh, this movie's kind of older-ish now, but man, is it so good. Uh, after the movie, I actually just went back home, um, and then I ended up going to Walmart to go grocery shopping, and also, again, and picking up a controller so I can make some gaming content for you guys, so... supposed to be like a pretty like good brand I just don't know like what would be like the best one to get quite honestly but it's supposed to be like a I don't know a good brand to get but I usually you just get Old Spice because it's obviously like <laughs> cheaper and I'm just so used to getting it and the usual clothes section which I usually try to take a look at every once in a while even though it's like all you know, Walmart branded stuff <laughs> But sometimes they get some cool stuff. Like, this is, like, just a super random stitch shirt that really shouldn't even be here. Um, they have a, oh, Mario. Uh, I still haven't seen the new Super Mario movie, but I hear it's actually, like, well, not even, I, I hear, I saw that. It's, like, one of the highest grossing animated movies of all time, which is pretty impressive. Naruto and... <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, like I said, like the, their uh, collection of stuff is kind of random. I have a Fast and the Furious shirt. Um, also did not see the newest Fast and the Furious movie, but I wonder if that one's any good. You can let me know also down in the comments. Over here at the little snack section, they have these uh, mini Cheeto Puffs. That sound actually kind of good. <laughs> Anything mini is like better, like always. Doritos as well, like uh, maracas. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get enough for three dollars. That's kind of expensive, just because they're mini versions. They even have uh, takis. Oh, these are just like Pringle takis. Wow, it's definitely something kind of new. Other than that, they don't really have a lot of anything else. They have, uh, flaming hot popcorn. <laughs> I'm not like very much a snack person. I try my best to look for stuff that is kind of nice. They have a, these on sale actually, which actually these are actually pretty good. They're pretty light and airy. Those are on sale, so I might get these. Yeah, also, just like a random pit stop of some candy, which um, I show you guys candy a lot on this channel, surprisingly. 
I don't really eat a lot of it. Ooh, they have the uh, Mr. Beast chocolate bar. I always kind of wanted to do like a uh, um, a mukbang out of these, like make a video of trying them. Because they have like an original, they have the, the D's Nuts one, which uh, I'm assuming it's just nuts, like chocolate with nuts on it. And then they also have a mint chocolate, which I actually do like mint chocolate. It's actually not that bad. You, really love mints. Oh, they have the Carl Gummies, which is interesting, I guess. Plant-based gummies. It's five bucks, though, and these bars are three dollars, which I guess isn't too insane, because these ones are four dollars, but yeah. Let me know if I should try these one of these days. I'll give them a shot. But I think what I'm going to do is try some actual candy. Um kind of just a mess to be completely honest uh, they have airheads kind of just here charleston shoes are really good but i think i'm gonna get some of these uh clusters nerd clusters these are really good they're chewy and have a nice little crunch of the nerds uh not good for your teeth i only eat like a handful every once in a while but they last me quite a good amount of time but they really don't really have a lot of variety it seems but that's fine sitting here i want to know if you guys actually would like another um asmr in the car video um i did one kind of a while ago but uh you guys can let me know if you guys would like you know another one because obviously the last one we did was a um a collab quite a bit ago and they're always uh pretty popular <laughs> so you guys can let me know if you guys would like to here and see one. Obviously, I can't really do uh, much of anything different, but just a, another video idea for you guys. It is uh, right now, currently, a little bit of a uh, time jump. I just uh, got home and like put the groceries away. Um, I'm just chilled out. I use these. 
so I'm still actually kind of full, but I, I know I'm going to be hungry in a little bit after I'm done editing, so I'm just going to get some fruit or something like that now, so yeah. I think that's the game plan. Let's get started. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty everyone. Um, I think that's going to be it tonight. Uh, it is exactly uh, 2 o'clock in the morning right now, so uh, this is actually kind of the usual time I stop, at least hopefully stop filming and at least do a little bit of editing before I go to bed. Uh, usually like 30 minutes or so, just get like all of like the, uh, like the hard cuts out of the videos. Like if I, you know, something crazy happens, like a loud noise, if I burp or cough or sneeze, I usually try to edit those out first and then tomorrow, um, kind of during or before or sometimes after I'm done the my, again, normal day-to-day -day jig stuff. Uh, my not Jake Baller ASMR life. Uh, I tend to edit that video throughout the day and then put it out to you guys around the same time every single day, which is for me 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Los Angeles time. Uh, for some of you people, West Coast time. For some of you people, to be able to figure it out a little bit easier. But yeah, 